So, Father, would you have any information about the scapular of benediction and protection? Well, uh, it is ascribed to uh, Juliet Marie Jahani, the mystic of the, what, 1800s? Mm -hmm. or, I think it goes back to the 1800s. Mm -hmm. Blessed Anna Maria Taigi and uh, Juliet Marie Jahani are two of the sources for the idea of the three days of darkness. Right. Two sources. And there are others too, but uh, they um, speak of this. And uh, that's very well known. What is less known, of course, is this uh, purple scapular. But this is attributed to Julie Marie Jahani as a special devotion for these latter times. It is a little puzzling because uh, I, I'm told, and I've read, that the purple scapular honors the passion of our Lord. But actually, there is already a scapular of the passion of our Lord, which is approved by the Church. And I, I, the blessing is in the rituale of the church itself. The blessing of this purple scapular is not contained in any rituale of the church that I know of. But there is a blessing of, of the passion, a scapular of the passion of our Lord. Uh, so it seemed a little bit redundant, but also I was reading of certain promises that came attached to this scapular. And one of them was that when, during the three days of darkness, the scapular will give off a brilliant light that will enlighten the entire home. And I thought, well, this is in direct, uh, you know, opposition to the talk about the blessed candle and that being the only thing that will give light. And um, you have to have the blessed candles there in order to light up whatever, because the darkness will be so impenetrable that only the light from the flame of that candle will, will be, you know, actually illuminate the world around you. So this idea, no, the scapular will actually give such a brilliant light that it will enlighten the entire home. Well, that doesn't seem to, to coincide very well with the blessed candle uh, uh, prophecy. So I really don't know what to think about it. I, I, I tend to not be convinced. Again, I, I don't know that any formal approbation has been given to it, there's an account that the local the local bishop approved it. Uh, I think I don't know if you know the, the bishop who came after him uh, perpetuated that approval or if it was just something unique to that particular bishop. I don't know, but uh, I don't see in the rituale the Roman rituale at least in the in the 1940s a reference to blessing any such purple scapular. Okay. So I don't know. I, I tend to be uh, skeptical. Right. <laughs>